So first, introduce yourself, uh, Aman. Sir, my name is Aman Singh. I am from New Delhi. I have done my class twelfth last year from Delhi. And my favorite subject is maths. I want to pursue a career in mathematics. Uh, okay. So, have you written J mains, J advanced this year? I I have given J mains where I only attempted maths portion. So I was not able to qualify for J advanced. Okay. Okay. So so that means maths is your favorite subject, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you written CMI also along with this ISI? Yes, sir. Yes. And what was the result there? Sir, so I was not selected. Not selected. Okay. You know, I I say UGA. How many marks you are getting? Sir, eighteen questions I did right. Eighteen question out of. Out of thirty. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So let us start. Uh, what are your favorite topics in mathematics? Sir, mainly differential calculus and combinatorics. Differential calculus and combinatorics. Okay. So let me know in differential calculus. Differentiation, you understand? Yes, sir. So can you please tell me what is the relation between d square y upon d x square and d square x upon d y square? What is the relation between these two? Think about sir. It sir the second one is the differentiation of uh, reciprocal of differentiation of the original function y, while the first one is the double derivative only. Now, if I ask you that. Uh, can we write d square y upon d x square in terms of d square x upon d y square? Is that possible or not? Sir, possible. Hai. Karo to isko. I'm modifying my question. I'm Sir. asking you to prove that d square y upon d x square is equal to minus so d square x d2 x upon dy square is equals to minus uh double derivative d2 y by dx square upon uh, dy by dx ka whole square whole square yes sir. see this is what i am now rephrasing my question that you have to prove this d square y upon dx square is equal to this thing I think you got square, but it is actually cube, not square. Can you please tell how you have done it for whole square? Sir, d uh, if the function is y, then dy by dx is its derivative, and uh, dx by dy will be one upon f dash x. Hmm. Uh, then we, if we differentiate again, then d2x by dy square is equals to minus of uh, one upon f dash x square. So what is you are saying this thing, okay? Yes. Sir. Now you are differentiating again with respect to what? Y or x? Sir, y. Okay. So if you differentiate with respect to y, so you are saying we will be differentiating this with respect to y. So what you will get? Sir, minus. Uh, uh, 1 upon f dash x square okay. into f double dash x. f double dash x. No, this step is not correct. This step is not correct. Please see what is the mistake here. Better you batao ki if you are differentiating, there is a say something called chain rule. Okay. Yes, sir. So you are differentiating this thing with respect to y. So first you written minus one upon f dash x whole square. That is correct. 
Now you will be not differentiating f dash x with respect to y, not with respect to x. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Now, if you're differentiating with respect to y, you cannot say it will be f double dash x unless you differentiate f dash x with respect to x. So first you have to differentiate with respect to x and then using chain rule, you have to write a dx upon dy. Is that okay? Yes. Sir. So this will be minus one upon f dash x whole square into f double dash x into one upon, and this is f dash x. So yes. because of this thing, you will get here f dash x whole cube. Yes. Actually, what are other topics you said? I think one is differential calculus and what are the combinatorics. Combinatorics. Okay. <clears throat> So my question is that there is a function f a to b, okay, and a is having three elements, one, two, three, and b is having five elements, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Yes, sir. Now you are given that f one is less than or equal to f two. F two is less than or equal to f of three. Find number of possible functions f. So how are you approaching this question? Sir, I uh, break the inequalities, uh, making cases uh, f1 is equals to f2 greater than or less than equal to f3 and f1 less than f2 uh, less than equal to f3 then further uh, if we break both the inequalities it will be f1 is equal to f2 is equal to f3 or f1 is equal to f2 is uh, less than f3 and the second one f1 is less than f2 is equal to f3 and f1 is less than f2 is less than f3 then yes. i am counting the cases So 35 cases I'm getting, mother functions. Yeah, that is correct answer. But tell me one thing, if A is having four elements, yes. then how you will do it? A is having four and B is having five, same question. F1 less than or equal to F2, less than or equal to F3, less than or equal to F4. Sir, uh, the, the set B, uh, can be the if if all the a set element uh, get uh, attached to only one element of uh, set b then it is only one way oh sorry five ways and if any two then we can choose them in five c two ways and Okay. Dekho, every element will have two options, then three, then four, not five. Hmm. Because so which question you are now doing? One, two, three, four, no? A is having one, two, three, and four. Yes. Okay. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. So, तुम क्या कह रहे हो कि they all are connected to one elements? हाँ. अगर five, five cases. Yes. Now, if they all are connected to two distinct elements, yes, so you have to 5C2 pehle. then each has two ways. Each element has two ways. Yes, no, not each. So we have to make cases then. Hmm. See, that is not very difficult. Please see, suppose you chose two elements, two and five. Yes, sir. For this condition to hold true, one has to be connected to two only, and four yes. has to be connected to five only. Yes, sir. Now, this two and three can go to two or five. 
yes sir but once again if 2 goes to 5 3 has to go to 5 yes sir then it is fixed to 2 then 3 can go to 2 or 3 can go to 5 so i think this way it becomes very much you know complicated yes sir okay i will tell you one direct method i think uh, you should learn how this kind of question can be done suppose my element here one is connected to x1 element of a theek hai that means yes. one is having x1 pre images yes sir plus x2 two is having x2 number of pre images okay yes, yes. then x3 is the three is having x3 number of pre images x4 and x5 how much will this be equal to 4 yeah in this case it will be 4 now listen very much very clearly suppose i give you an example that x1 is 2 and x1 is 1 and this is one let us say and these two are 0 0 yes sir okay now can you please tell me with this condition what two pre image of one will be वन की दो प्री इमेजेस क्या क्या होंगी सर वन एंड टू वन एंड टू पक्का यस सर एंड एक टू का प्री इमेज कौन होगा थ्री होगा थ्री होगा और थ्री का फोर 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 का फोर का नहीं होगा फाइव का नहीं होगा हाँ क्योंकि यहाँ जीरो जीरो लिखा है तो कोई होना भी नहीं चाहिए ठीक है अब मुझे एक बात बताओ कि एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एक्स फोर एक्स फाइव के जो भी सॉल्यूशन होंगे जैसे टू वन वन हो गया तो हमने ये क्लियर कर दिया ना कि सबसे ऊपर के दो एलिमेंट वन के साथ जाएंगे yes, नेक्स्ट जो होगा वो टू के पास जाएगा नेक्स्ट जो होगा थ्री के पास जाएगा अगर yes, मान लो एक्स की वैल्यू टू की जगह थ्री होती तो आई थिंक ऊपर के तीन एलिमेंट ए के वन के साथ जाते हैं yes, तो दिस क्वेश्चन डू यू थिंक इज जस्ट टू सॉल्व फॉर नॉन नेगेटिव सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री प्लस एक्स फोर प्लस एक्स फाइव इक्वल टू फोर इज दैट ओके यस इसको कैसे सॉल्व करते हैं एन प्लस आर माइनस एन सी आर माइनस कितना आएगा सॉल्व करके बताओ एट सी थ्री एट सी फोर बैगर बैगर होता है फोर होता है थ्री होता है सर थ्री होगा नहीं बेटा इसमें बैगर कॉइन पता है ना एन प्लस आर माइनस वन सी आर माइनस वन यही फॉर्मूला लगा रहे हो ना यस सर आर क्या होता है इसमें सर ये फोर होगा यहाँ पर नहीं आर यहाँ पे फाइव होगा ये नंबर ऑफ बैगर्स हैं ये एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री प्लस एक्स R is five. It is not four. Yes. N की वैल्यू four है. Okay. Yes. देखो यहाँ पे तुमको ना ये सारे जो बेसिक फॉर्मूलेज हैं, like beggar coin, group formation, de arrangement, inclusion yes. exclusion, arrangement of alike objects. ये सारे अच्छे से याद होने चाहिए without any any doubt. नहीं तो दिक्कत हो जाएगी यहाँ पे. Yes. ठीक है. तो आंसर इसका eight C four होगा. इससे पहले वाले का वो seven C four होता. तो वो थर्टी फाइव तुमने केस बना के निकाला था yes, इस वाले केस में ये डायरेक्ट यहाँ पर सेवन सी फोर थर्टी फाइव हो जाएगा ठीक है ठीक है तो बेटा आई थिंक ऑल वॉज फाइन बट यही है कि जो भी टॉपिक तुम क्लेम कर रहे हो तुमको बहुत अच्छे से आता है यू शुड नो इन एंड आउट ऑफ दैट टॉपिक ठीक है ठीक है अमन थैंक यू सो मच कब है तुम्हारा एग्जाम थर्टी थर्टी इंटरव्यू है ओके थैंक यू सर